Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. It's Saturday the 18th of February 2023 and it's the calm after the storm and uh, it's uh, been very blowy. I don't think I've suffered any damage but uh, there's uh, stuff scattered all over the place. This one caught me uh, unawares. So let's have a little look and make a start on a few jobs. As you can see uh, the plastic polycarbonate that I used to cover the uh, wood uh, has blown over but it's been reasonably dry uh, I was going to have a fire today but uh, the wind's blowing towards the houses and people have got the washing out so I'm not going to be inconsiderate and like that today uh, but I do need to clear all this area this needs to get rotivated and we need to set out all the uh, new uh, pallet collar beds here get those uh, emptied, moved as minimal as possible we need to get the rotavator on this and this where the old uh, fruit trees uh, used to be this is where I'm going to be growing uh, some giant potatoes to see if I can get a nice big one there uh, for Malvern uh, after we left you on the last uh, allotment jobs I just nipped across here and uh, screwed some battens to this I've got some ideas as to how to uh, net this and uh, a roll up uh, door on this side i don't want to make it too complicated because this wood is quite expensive and it's not going very far so just need to have a rethink so i've got my uh, new door on this uh, cage that's so much uh, easier today i need to get this ready this is going to be for the uh, giant cabbages uh, we had a couple or three last year didn't do any good but I've got some uh, real good cabbage seed this time and uh, they're uh, growing well in the uh, grow room and the spider farmer tent so I need to get rid of these grab a few runners if I can have a tidy up and uh, get uh, those circles the uh, bottoms of the barrels uh, placed out I'll explain why I use those uh, a little bit later on. So, let's get cracking. We started at uh, half past one, it's now uh, ten to uh, two. So that's got uh, all of them out. I'm going to sort these runners out now, look for the good ones. And uh, then we can uh, set out the uh, plastic uh, rings. It's uh, just before 2.30. So I've been going at it now for about an hour. So that's that sorted. Uh, well, I've chucked them in a bucket, if you call that sorted. I'm going to take out now the old wood chips out of the path on the right and dump that on top of the, uh, the bed to mix in. And now let's uh, spread these plastic uh, rings out. I'm going to give the cabbages plenty of space. The more room you give your vegetables, the bigger they'll grow and the healthier they'll be. Right, so they're there, spaced out as evenly as we can. I'm just going to plonk some uh, well rotted manure or as well rotted as we've got into each one remove the plastic rings and uh, dig it in Just going to add uh, some nettle tea, nettle plant food. This is the concentrate. I'm looking to add about a litre to each one. We'll tidy these beds up as we go along and then I can mulch them up with some of the uh, compost that we find. So 
So this is the uh, compost that I've been struggling with, with the uh, clay balls in. Uh, I'm going to have to sort some more in a bit. I'll just show you how I've been doing that once so I've uh, used as much as I can. But this uh, compost with the uh, perlite in, I quite like it. You get the odd clay ball in it still, but never mind. But if we do get any weeds, they're so easy to pull out. And of course, watering. We want to be able to water these uh, quite easily. try and push it in as hard as I can when I fill this pipe and it comes to the top then I know all of them have had uh, roughly the same and I should probably feed feed these every time with uh, some material that we've bought getting towards the end of February and uh, still lots to do I'm trying not to panic don't panic don't panic so that's them all nicely done now and the idea of the plastic uh, barrels is so it supports the leaves so they don't drape all over the ground and funnily enough it stops them toppling over so let's hope for the best this is the first time I've done a full row which is probably the first time I've had a quite a few uh, cabbages uh, growing in the uh, grow room so this is uh, how the how I find the compost sometimes sometimes it's in bags sometimes it's already and sometimes they've just cut the tops off and uh, normally I'll just give them a good punch but uh, these weren't uh, a very good grow by the look of it and uh, I'll give them a good punch and just get the material out and then I realised that uh, they've got clay balls in so I'm having to just scrape the top off until I get down to wherever they decided to put the clay balls just getting a few there now I don't want to get too many in the compost I'm just checking it as I throw it in and once I get down to the clay balls throw those in there but it's just a thin layer and then they put a thin layer in the bottom then with this with the clay balls can go in the bottom of my pallet collar beds and they will help aerate and uh, retain some moisture so we're back now to some good compost it's a bit fiddly but still well worth doing because once you pick up the fly tip you take ownership in the bottom which uh, does annoy me but these cloth bags I put them out on our shared heap where everybody puts stuff for recycling and it's surprising how quickly they go but there again they do uh, go for eight to ten pounds each so they're well worth uh, using around our growing spaces if you get them for free for those that are new to my channel uh, these barrels get filled with water from uh, this uh, roof space and uh, in here we have uh, wicks so that's uh, the, 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 the wicks go into the uh, barrels almost right to the bottom we don't want it to get to the bottom because the pipes that join them up siphon from each one so they all say stay at the same level so we've not gone we're probably going to foot from the bottom and uh, those wicks are still moist 
so uh, the capillary action uh, is uh, is working well and I'd like to get this uh, these two or at least one filled today so that I can uh, sow uh, a few carrots uh, two different varieties I'll do two in each one but I'll successional sow them uh, throughout the uh, the spring but I'd like to get some in today so the material I'll be using is some more material from this uh, this is going to be some giant veg so as you can see I've dug it right out took all the good stuff out uh, some of it's been siphoned before sieved before uh, this had manure in last year or the year before should we say the winter of 21 uh, haven't done nothing with it this time so that'll be emptied out in here because it's got traces manure manure will be put in here mixed up loads of manure for the carrots parsnips and uh, the the giant uh, radish for the Malvern show so uh, it'll be some of that some of the uh, cocoa koi that uh, gets unscrupulously dumped by the cannabis growers there's some more of the compost with the perlighting and this is my homemade compost that I made this time last year for the potatoes or tomatoes whatever I grew I don't grow massive crops but none of this costs me anything and there's the uh, leaf mold uh, we're getting down it slowly but uh, there's a good cubic meter there probably uh, over a thousand liters and uh, we've also got uh, some four-year-old wood chips that we took out of uh, the fruit cage if they're dry enough I'll pop those through the sieve this is what uh, four-year-old wood chips looks like but first I need somewhere to sieve it um, these were my field beans these are the ones I'm going to save for seed but our winter here in the UK has uh, knocked uh, a lot of the uh, plants about so we're just hoping most of them survive but I may as well just chop and drop this scrape the material up pop it onto this bed over here do some sifting and uh, fill these barrels as we go and then eventually I can put all that material back into the bottom of that bed uh, as a green manure exactly like we did here and that's all literally rotted down now and uh, the worms and everything all the creepy crawlies are, are doing uh, a grand job and that bed will be ready for something nice to grow in the spring so let's get this all cleared Well, I've cheated a little bit because that's how I made these beds. So I might as well pinch it and put it in these containers. So there's the uh, wicks uh, almost to the top, not too far. We want the roots to go down. We don't want them to come to the surface else in the hot weather, they'll just shrivel up and our plants will die. So uh, let's get this one filled right to the top and get some carrot sown. Well, it's uh, five to four now and uh, the residents nearby in the area of the smoke have uh, got the washing in so I've been messing about with that as well. So in my uh, February cassette, these are photo cassettes, uh, I've got a few seeds and some of that is uh, lettuce. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, carrots, which I wanted to get uh, sown early, some white Lisbon, some of it, the, you know, the spring onions, etc and some of these seeds aren't viable but at home uh, in the grow room uh, i've been uh, sow uh, sowing uh, lots of the seeds if they grow they grow if they don't they don't uh, but I, like i said before i don't like wasting them so i'm just going to uh, do one one side and one the other it, it probably does say so it says so outdoors march to june uh, but uh, we're just going to uh, tickle a little channel through there I'll do that both sides I'll just sort the seeds out so there's 2,000 seeds in that packet so what I tend to do a lot of, a lot of uh, allotmenteers do is to uh, piece of cardboard 
from the corner of a cereal packet and uh, a little old dibber there well dibber uh, marker and uh, I don't know whether you can see that but I'm just tapping in the occasional seed don't really want to thin them if I can help it but if you don't 2,000 seeds it won't go very far or was it a thousand seeds 2,000 is it 2,000 yes not 200 but just by tapping the uh, cardboard you can get a uh, a reasonable spread without touching the seeds and uh, maybe contaminating them with whatever's on your fingers. That's both lots in so we'll just uh, cover those up now. Just make sure that seeds have got uh, good firm contact with the soil, compost, whatever you want to call it. Do the same for that side. I'll give them a light watering and get them marked up. Give them a bit of protection. We'll pop that on the top. Stop this horrible wind that we might get again from uh, blowing it away. And of course labelling uh, is very important uh, as well and I like to make the labels nice and big so that I haven't got to keep repeating everything because half the time I can't pronounce anything but this is just yellow gaffer tape and uh, we use the Edding Edding 750 marker pens and uh, the uh, sun doesn't get to those and it stays on for uh, a very long time so those two lots of carrots will now go into the March cassettes so that I don't forget to re-sow. I found this really useful. I have two boxes, one to store my seeds in um, order, vegetable order, and another cassette in uh, monthly orders. So hopefully we don't forget. So that was a good two and a half hours spent on the plot. I'll probably try and do something uh, now just to make things easier, but at least all this is clear. I'll try and break this up. That was uh, what the wood was sitting on to try and keep it half dry. I'll clear some of this up, leave some of the biochar there, but I just don't want any nails uh, and what have you left in the ground. Get this fire finished off. And uh, tomorrow, 19th, I'll probably bring the rotavator up. So you might see that video uh, in the midweek. Please remember, thumbs up or thumbs down for the interaction. Please leave me a comment. And don't forget to check the comments out and give those a thumbs up if you feel they uh, deserve it. And any links to any sites that shouldn't be there, please report them. Most of you now have the right to report, which I'll get a notification and then I can report it to YouTube. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now.